All right, guys. Um, today, well, first of all, this is post commentary. Uh, this was already recorded, so this is a no item run at stage super bad road. Uh, as you can see right here, I there was I already did this. There was no items. I did it with the transforming Super Saiyan Goku. Um, but this time I actually did it with AGL Whis, and it was actually significantly easier. Um, and AGL Whis is a free to play unit, so I was like, eh, sure, let's go with the free to play variant. Um, and it was easier just because I'm not gonna lie, I did get Whis's passes off multiple times. Um, and the the Super Saiyan 2 AGL Goku is probably MVP right next to Whis because. The, the way he works is he changes a, uh, STR key spheres to AGL key spheres, right? And per key sphere obtained, he heals 7,777 HP. So if he gets a lot of key spheres, he heals a lot of health. Um, and as you can see here, I didn't even bring a single, uh, like, item. So if I win this, it is no items. Um, and I, once again, I did record this yesterday. Um, the LR Super Saiyan 4s are just crazy on the stage. Like... Using an LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta friend. I don't even have LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, by the way. Um, but just using an LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta friend, I was almost able to beat uh, the Super STR stage no items. And this is like pretty simple. If you're if you make it to where you get Whis at the right times, this is pretty simple. And if you're lucky with a counter or two, you're you're looking good. Um, one thing is Goku. He does take a lot of damage before he supers, but if after he gets a super, he pretty much nullifies damage pretty well. Um, and, uh, if he gets an additional super, he takes no damage at all. Like, right here, that double super is huge. Um, now one thing I do know, this no item run is actually, like, pretty quick. Um, I know for a fact it is faster than what my old time was. I don't remember exactly what my old no item run time was. Um, but, I do remember I did, like, pass up one of my friends, and he was like, How did you even beat this with no items? And I was like, Yo, Super Saiyan 4s are kind of nasty. Um, also, one thing you're going to need to do if you want to beat uh, a Super Battle Road stage with no items um, is you're going to need to make sure where you get your Dokkan mode. Uh, because if you don't get your Dokkan mode against the last phase, and the last phase is like Boo and Bobbity, then, uh, you know, either of those things are kind of end runners. Run enders, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, so as you can see here, I did leave a Whis on rotation with Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Because I know for a fact, next time we get this rotation, if we're still alive, Whis will full heal. So all we have to do is survive the first rotation here, and then Whis will full heal. Because, obviously, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, um, he will take damage if he takes uh, hits before he's before he supers, but if it's after, then he's fine. And also here, because we got this AGL Super Saiyan 2 Goku, look, he gets 5 orbs here. Okay, he gets 4 orbs, yeah, he gets 4 orbs, and he just healed like 50,000 HP. So that's kind of insane. So right now we're at 40% HP, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure we can survive this turn, even if we get supered. Um, another thing that's really good about this is, like, if you kind of make sure you have mostly, like, it doesn't need to be all, but if you have mostly Goku's family category units, then you have a high amount of HP to play with. Like, in this run in particular, I had 480,000 HP, which for a mono team is crazy. Um, but I do remember in my other run, I had, like, 500,000 HP. That's just because, remember, transforming Goku was on my team. And he's obviously on the category, whereas Whis isn't. So here, as long as I don't get supered, or even if I do get supered and the Goku dodges, we're fine. And here we're at like 20% HP, Whis full heals. So I do think we get one more Whis full heal here, but that's just showing how nice Whis is. Um, he also can stun on super attack, so whenever I can, I do give him a super attack, just because stunning is never bad. Um, and also, Super Saiyan 4 Goku... Like, right there, he got one Rainbow Orb, and it was an 18 key super. So, don't forget how crazy, like, self-sufficient the Super Saiyan 4s are. And right there, if we wouldn't have gotten Whis's healing, we would have died. Um, but, you know, that was kind of unlucky, because remember, every single Super Saiyan 4 has a chance to counter. Um, and all of them, except for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta obviously has, like, a 75% chance to counter. Um, but all the rest of them have, like, a 30% chance to counter or something like that. Um, so, you know, we could have got lucky and got that there, but we didn't, and we're still fine. Um, and I do know we're sacrificing some attack by doing this, but you do keep the Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku on rotation, just so that we do get that healing every single turn, which is very, very helpful. He will, oh, that was a clutch dodge. Um, I do give all my units level 3 dodge, fight me. I'm pretty sure my Super Saiyan 4 Goku has level 3 dodge. Um, I did also, about a week ago-ish, 
um, when we got the 100 free stones uh, for getting top grossing, I did pull a dupe of Super Saiyan 4 Goku on a single summon. Let's put that up here, right to the right of the screen. You see that? That's a single summon on a ticket. That's why Global, I will argue, is better than JP. Like, sure, we get stuff late, right? But when we do get it, we get it with more discounts, we get it with tickets sometimes. Um, I do think every single yearly anniversary, until this game dies, we, Global will have tickets. I honestly think that, because, like, they've seen how much money it makes them. Like, tickets don't make them less money. They're like, oh, more value, we'll buy more stones. It's not like, oh, we got one copy, we'll bounce. Um, and also, um, shoot, I don't know exactly when this is going up, but, uh, here pretty soon, we're gonna get the new duck on Battlefield, as well as the new, uh, Hercule Punching Bag event. And I think those are going to come out while the Super Multi Summon discounts are still out. Okay, here we got a counter. So, this is real clean. Uh, Goku, I do remember almost one shots Salza with this counter. If he got a crit, he would have. Look how much HP Salza has. It was so close to being a one shot. Um, and if you look at the Dokkan mode here, we're kind of close. But, if you can make it to the last stage with the Dokkan mode, you pretty much just win. Because there are three possible fights. Um, two of them... And we did just get Whis to heal us up again. So, again, that's just showing how clutch Whis is. Um, but if you get the Dote Gun attack in the last stage and you don't get Boo, you pretty much instantly win. Like, here we got Cell and Cell Juniors. We one-shotted all of the Cell Juniors. And then the character right after Super Saiyan 4 Goku uh, killed Cell. So, it was a very, very clean run. Um, but back to what I was saying. Uh, the Hercule event and the new stage of Dote on Battlefield should come out while we still have the super multi summon discounts and if that is the case you'll probably be able to get like another hundred free stones um that you will be able to use to like right now if you're on stage two of a multi like you did one multi and now you need two more to get to the free one you should be able to get enough free to play stones by then like by the time the super multi summon discounts go away to do those uh two summons and then the free one and that will also get you six more tickets so here's hoping that that actually does end up that way so here, uh, I remember I was kind of worried, like, oh, we better not get the Dokkan attack on just one of these people. But I did get a 12k super with Super Saiyan 4 Goku, so I didn't regret, uh, you know, just aiming at Dor, or Dor A, I guess. Um, and we didn't get him a super, but then you know what I remembered? This turn? What turn number is it? Active skill turn. <laughs> so, again, this is just showing how clutch active skills are here, because we would have definitely gotten the Dokkan attack if it wasn't for this active skill. And pretty much if it wasn't for this active skill, this would have been a losing run. Unless we got super lucky with Whis passive activating a third time, which you should never gamble on Whis's passive activating more than once. Here we got it twice, but I'm not sure if we 100% needed it. So here we have, we're going to get the Dokkan attack if two of, we if we can get two units agility orbs, we're going to get the Dokkan attack here. So, we got Whis here, whatever. Um... And we see Goku, he can get two rainbows, that's nice, that's an 18 key. And we're just aiming everything at Cell, because I do know for a fact that if... And here I wasn't sure if we were going to get the Dokkan attack, I was like, uh, okay, we got it. Um, but we do know for a fact, <laughs> one of the Cell Juniors giving us a Super is a good buy present. Um, but we do know for a fact that Super Saiyan 4 Goku will one-shot all of the Cell Juniors. Uh, he doesn't need to do a crit, he doesn't need to do any additionals or anything, he will finish off all the Cell Juniors, and he'll do over half of Cell's HP. So here, like, we're fine. And then Vegeta is, like in my mind, Vegeta's probably gonna finish up Cell if Goku doesn't. If Goku crits, he finishes off everyone. Um, so let's just see what he does. And I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, like, 4 million? Yeah, 4.2 million. And then Vegeta just needs to play cleanup. Um... So you will see this is a new time record, and I'm not sure exactly when this ends, so I'll end the audio here. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please consider to leave a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel. Please feel free to let me know in the comments if you want to see more no-item runs. I will attempt them during the fourth year anniversary. Um, but anyways, I will see you guys next time.